The Novartis case, which was decided by the Supreme Court, set what is called the Novartis standard. In cases involving interpretation of Section 3D of the Patents Act, which was a subject matter which was decided by the Supreme Court in that case, the court evolved a standard for applying Section 3D. Now let's look at the standard. Section 3D is a provision of the Indian Patents Act which prevents patents for new forms of known substances. The only instance where a new form of a known substance will be granted a patent is where it demonstrates enhanced efficacy. Now the principles that were laid, now the Supreme Court upheld the decision of the Patent Office rejecting the patent application for Novartis which went to the Intellectual Property Appellate Board. The Intellectual Property Appellate Board also upheld the decision of the Patent Office rejecting the patent for Novartis. So this was the final culmination of the case before the Supreme Court. The principles that the court evolved pertain to, we can classify them in seven broad steps. So the Novartis standard pertains to identifying the new form of the known substance. So you have to first identify the new form of the known substance. We have given the paragraphs from the judgment in brackets. Then comparing the pharmacological properties of the known substance with the new form of the known substance. So the first step is to identify the known substance the new form of the known substance and comparing the properties of the known substance with the new form of the known substance. Three, providing comparative material on enhanced efficacy. Comparative material to show that, and this is an obligation on the patent applicant. The applicant has to show comparative material on enhanced efficacy. So if the applicant claims that the new form has an enhanced efficacy, the applicant has to demonstrate that by producing material. Now, the fourth step would involve excluding physicochemical properties like beneficial flow, better thermodynamic stability, lower hygroscopicity from the consideration of therapeutic efficacy. Now, the Madras High Court earlier had interpreted efficacy as therapeutic efficacy, which was also followed by the Supreme Court. In cases of medicine, the test of efficacy can only be therapeutic. Now, this is a reiteration of a decision of the Madras High Court, which happened some time ago. And it should be judged strictly and narrowly. Six, the applicant has to specifically claim and establish by research data correlating bioavailability to therapeutic efficacy. Now, one of the arguments in this case was that demonstration of bioavailability amounts to enhanced therapeutic efficacy. So the court said that mere demonstration is not enough. You have to establish by research data that the bioavailability correlates to enhanced therapeutic efficacy. And the seventh point is that for patents involving new forms of known substances, the test of enhanced efficacy should be proved in addition to the fact that the patent application is an invention and involves an inventive step. Now, this reiterates that Section 3D is an additional layer over the tests of patentability. So this was the standard that was developed by the Supreme Court. Now, this was critical because in 2013, the Novartis case has been pending for quite some time and the Supreme Court came up with this pronouncement. But what we noticed in a research that I and some of my colleagues conducted was that post 2013, Patent Office has not been adhering to the seven principles laid down in the Novartis case. Now, this is the report. The report is titled Pharmaceutical Patent Grants in India, How Our Safeguard Against Evergreening Have Failed and Why the System Must Be Reformed. Now, here we show that the extent of secondary patenting at the IPO is much higher than what was anticipated. 72% of the granted patents pertain to secondary patents. Secondary patents presume that the 
there is a primary pattern before it and only a small improvement or a modification is now being covered what we call marginal improvements are covered by secondary patterns now we also give the split off of the secondary patenting in in pharmaceutical it could be for formulation it could be for combination it could be for method of treatment physical variant new uses isomers salt ether ester and prodrug and this is the road map of our report we found that 28% pertain to primary of the numbers that we analyzed that is 2293 and 1654 that is 72% pertain to secondary patterns of which 85% which is substantial was granted without a detailed scrutiny only 15% went through a detailed scrutiny the detailed scrutiny is an order by the ipo a written order which a third person can scrutinize a detailed written order now and then we looked at post novartis there were 217 patents and we were able to retrieve out of that 209 and of the 209 50 were the cases where 3d and 3e objections were raised initially but the applicants got over it so of the 50 we found that all of them did not follow the standard laid down by the supreme court the novartis standard was not followed either one of those seven steps were not followed in granting these patents 